Hi everyone, it's my first day in Mondello, my first full day. I just love this loft so much. I mean, look, it, it just looks like Bali, not to say that Bali is better than Sicily. I mean, they are both amazing. So maybe it's Bali that looks like Sicily. Anyway, I'm downloading every video that I film on my laptop before leaving the house because I'm always afraid that I will get my phone stolen on the beach being there alone. But I've got a trick. The trick is putting my phone money, earpods, if I do bring them, I'm trying not to bring them, and the keys of the Airbnb. In here, I hide this in the sand and I will put the towel on top and then on top of the towel I will put my clothes and my bag so that if someone wants to steal from me they will probably steal the bag on top of the of the towel I don't think they will move the towel and look for my wallet in the sand which they don't know it's there now that I told you my trick if you do see me on some beach somewhere you will know how to steal my things but I don't think that's going to happen Obviously, I bring a little amount of money to the beach, like 20 euros in cash, and I leave all my cards in the Airbnb. It's midday now, and I'm going to the beach quite late. I had to finish editing a video for tomorrow. I had thought I'm not going to bring my laptop on holiday because I don't want to work, I just want to relax. But then I felt bad for not posting tomorrow. I haven't posted last Sunday because I've had super busy weeks. I had my acting course final performance, so I had to rehearse for that. But yeah, I brought my laptop and finished editing, so tomorrow I will post a new video. Um, yeah. I walked all the way to the end of Mondello and I'm looking for the Riserva di Capogallo. I've had to pay one euro to access the reserve. There's various paths and there's a very small sandy beach and the rest is just rocks. You can sunbathe and swim from the rocks. I'm really glad I walked here because it's definitely less crowded than Mondello today also because it's Saturday so yeah the beach is even more crowded than usual in Mondello This is something I would not expect to find in Mondello, London scissors. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to buy something at the supermarket, but in southern Italy they close for lunch, so I will have to wait. They open at 4.30. This is cool because it's not far from my Airbnb, so I'll come back here later. I'm so excited for what is coming. I went grocery shopping. I don't know what to start from. I get so lonely and introspective. 
about my dying day. I know that when I go, I'll go quietly, but I'll rest easy, babe, 'cause I've loved you loudly. Why are the bells ringing? They wake up all my competitors looking for a place on the beach. Like, let them sleep so I can get a good spot on the beach. It's nine o'clock and I'm going back to the Airbnb because I forgot my towel. To the purple haze carries me so far This is what I got. So for this holiday, I decided to spend two nights in Palermo, the capital of the region of Sicily, and five nights in Mondello, which is also in the municipality of Palermo, but it's by the seaside. It's basically where Palermitans, Palermitani, which is people from Palermo, go to the seaside like at the weekend. Most of the people in Mondello are Italian. Yeah, it's not very touristy on an international level. Oh god, I hate mosquitoes so much. I'm scratching my legs. I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, six bites on my calf only. Anyway, I'm happy that I visited Palermo and I'm happy that I chose this Airbnb for my holiday. There's more beautiful places in Sicily for sure than Mondello. I don't think it's that special if you stay in a hotel and you've always got to stay at the seaside on the beach because it gets crowded, it gets dirty as well. So what I loved the most about Mondello was staying in this Airbnb because I spent a lot of time out in the garden. Had I not stayed in this Airbnb, I think I would have chosen more beautiful places like Taormina or San Vitolo Capo. Like the Brazilian girl Maya that I met at the hostel, she recommended me a hostel in San Vitolo Capo, which looks amazing. So next time I might go there. It's a bit of a shame that I didn't get to see many places in Sicily. I only visited Palermo and Mondello, but yeah, this is what I wanted. I wanted a chilled out holiday. It's not for everyone. I mean, maybe if you like visiting all the time, you would have gotten bored, but I just love spending time in the garden. Again, as in Scotland, I don't have a garden and it's the weather. Well, you can imagine how, how Scottish weather is. I don't get to stay outside and read and sunbathe, so this is what I wanted. Last night it rained. It was very relaxing. This vegetation is perfect for mosquitoes, but still, I would not trade it. I believe that is called Monte Pellegrino. This is the main square of Mondello. I walked here because the only post office to send the postcards away is here. Later on, I'm going back to my favorite beach, which is there. And that's also where my Airbnb is, in that area there. It's a 20 minute walk from here. I guess the post box was supposed to be there. <laughs> Fantastic parking 
pot. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to the airport. I got the bus from Mondello and now I'm getting the train to the airport. And in total I spent about 8 euros. That's a very good price to get to the airport. Bring any additional charges. Right. I was filming myself going out with a glass and a beer and I forgot there was water in the glass. Take two.